There have been tables like this set up across the Pitt campus. It's called Pitt Votes, and it's a nonpartisan outreach to students to make sure they're registered. We have free pizza and free voter registration. Some are registering to vote for the first time with the help offered here. Some, but not all, to vote on campus in November because they now live here. I had been thinking about it, but I never really knew the process and looked into it online, so this is really helpful just to be able to have someone walk me through it and tell me the steps. Other Pitt students say this helped them when they were new on campus. He gave me a little flyer that I could uh, apply for. It was pretty easy process. I think it took me like under five minutes. It really wasn't difficult. Um, and I went to my next class. So it really wasn't hard in my opinion. Marley Pinsky is on a committee of Pitt student government. She joined in this outreach. It is nonpartisan. Um, we are sort of here helping out with Pitt Votes, um, which is an office under student affairs. Um, to help them just register voters at the university. We got leaders from college Republicans and college Democrats on campus to talk with us side by side about their efforts here with student voters at Pitt. We've been encouraging all of our members to register in Pennsylvania no matter what. It's, this is the state that we believe will decide the election, so we're encouraging everyone in our group of the 60 plus to all register in PA. So Pennsylvania is the most important state in this election. Um, Whichever candidate wins Pennsylvania has a 90% chance to win the election, um, and we're treating it like it. With Commitment 2024 coverage on the Pitt campus in Oakland, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.